Hello friend, I'm Danny Walker. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Miss Diva sub contest or preliminary pageant for the 2021 edition. If you'd like to see more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications so you know when new episodes like this come out. This is a very, very tough group of contestants. Very, very strong. Honestly, I was struggling to narrow them down. I had way too many favorites. I liked the majority. I thought the majority of contestants had a very good performance. And the thing that is going to be a stronger determining factor, I believe, is going to be the interview and her speaking abilities. So it's not obviously just about a strong walk and a beautiful face. So I feel very thrown off by this group of contestants. I feel very confused. So I am going to share my favorites, my top 10. And I have no idea how this is really going to go, though, because they're that amazing. Check them out. Here we go in no particular order. Number seven, I wish that she would have just held her poses a second longer. I wanted to feel a little bit more of a moment, but regardless of that, still one of my favorite walks. We have to talk about number 15's jawline, okay? So, so gorgeous. Where, where are these women coming from? How does India have this many gorgeous women at their competition? I really don't understand it. Also, this orange on her was perfect and it, oh, her legs in this dress and the, the walk itself, all of it. I was so pleased. Contestant number one, she was working it. What I appreciated about this performance is that you could tell that she knew exactly what she was gonna do with the gown and with her poses. It was very, very well rehearsed. As we know, pageants are about a lot more than just a walk, great wardrobe, and a beautiful face. You have to be able to have communication skills that match everything else that you bring to the table. So if you're a pageant contestant and you want to learn how to stand out in the interview room, then click the description below where you can learn more about rehearsed to relatable. Number 19, you got me girl, you captured my attention. There's this split second moment where she makes this expression, sort of raises her eyebrow at the end of that runway and it worked. I just wrote in parentheses love on my notes because she really stood out and just instantly became one of my favorites. Number 10, I see great potential in. I think that she has further to go in terms of walking and posing. I feel like there's a lot more that she could learn, but honestly though could you just imagine her at miss universe because i can number 17 had a very simple gown but there was something about the look in her eyes that just made me feel a certain way when she was walking across the stage she really had that little it factor for me when she was walking makes me want to see a lot more from her during finals number three that face also the posture the way that she carried herself the ponytail was working for her as well as just the overall quality of the walk number 11 is one of those contestants where i didn't love the turn that she did in the routine but if i were judging she looked confident she looked like she was having so much fun on stage she was so present and that earns you points Number five was also supposed to be this episode. I don't know where this clip went from my recording, but she is one of my favorites. I'd just like to see her look up a bit more during finals. Number 13 is just so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. But my note was, please give me more poses. Don't go away so soon. I wanted to see a little bit more from her. Those were the ladies that really stood out to me. Honestly, I had more. It was really difficult to narrow this down. I thought that the women did an incredible job. I loved the pastel gowns that they put on them. And also I loved the other opening where they walked out in more casual outfits. That was really beautiful. It was just this fabulous fashion show, the flowing fabrics. I, I really liked because I didn't feel like anybody really got the bad end of the stick. Like. When you looked at all of their outfits, they were all very different and very unique. And who knows, maybe not everybody loved their gown. You can't please everybody. That's always going to happen. But regardless of that, when you look at them as a whole on stage, it looked great together. The women looked very well dressed and the dresses looked fitted for them. 
This was a super quick episode, I know, but I really appreciate the request for it. And if you guys wanna see more coverage of this, let me know. If you wanna see any other pageant, leave that in the description. Or honestly, if you wanna see any other video on my channel, it doesn't just have to be about pageants, it can be about anything. So let me know what you wanna see on the channel, leave that in the comments, and tell me who your favorite contestants are this year. Who are you reading for? Thank you so much for watching the episode, and I hope to see you real soon.